Yeah, I mean, I think the uh, the back five, you know, and our goalkeeper all played very, very well. Um, you know, we lacked a little bit, I think, uh, you know, precision in the, in the final third. I thought there were numerous opportunities for us. Um, just the final ball, the final service, maybe the final little combination uh, w was off. Um, but, you know, I thought defensively we came out after giving up some goals over the weekend and really had a mindset to get a shutout, defense set pieces, and I thought, uh, you know, I thought we did that very well against a, a dangerous attacking team. I think we're just committed to defending and getting numbers behind the ball, and you know they are a team that will send a lot of numbers forward. So, you know you gotta you gotta be respectful of that. And um, but they also then on the opposite side gave us some time on the ball too that we maybe aren't used to in some of our conference games. Uh, so you know I thought it was a, a good balance, probably fair result. Um, you know at the, at the end of the day, neither team really stepped up and made a play. But uh, but you know Coach Barbado and I are best friends and uh, you know he does have a history here and, and I know he, he's doing a great job at NJIT and I know he'll have that program at the top of their conference uh, very soon. Yeah it was great to get some minutes for some guys who haven't maybe played that much and for them to step up and still be part of, of a result um, and so you know whether that be for their personal development for the younger guys or, or for some of the older guys just giving them some time so that if we do need to throw them into a, an important Patriot League match here down the stretch you know that they've gotten some rust off or have gotten some quality minutes in a competitive environment so uh, I think with that many guys getting playing time and, and again getting a positive result uh, we were you know we were quite happy with the effort.